and for Sime we will play a special game. You will not cheat to win, you will cheat to suggest feelings and emotions. You see, by applying sufficient pressure on certain ideas and images, I will create a rift between the King and McGregor. First I will mention your target, then I will hint at the nature of the cards I need you to steal and distribute. What? My thoughts exactly. It will all become clear in time. Something tells me that it won't. Imagine I said, our dear alchemist is in very strong shape today. Did you pick a pair of lucky clovers this morning? Ace of clubs. Okay, no, just two high clubs to the alchemist, the Compton. The clover looks similar to a club. Yeah, I'll keep an open mind. So he's only talking about suits. Sometimes I'll give you two tar targets. Listen closely to an example. Your majesty, the king, Wish you strength of heart in the current turmoil, so give him two strong hearts. I have McGregor give him two spades, low spades, a high card heart to the king, a low black card to McGregor. Interesting, is it going to be obvious whether there's one or two of the cards? Like, you know, giving him one high heart versus two high hearts? So, how do we apply this to a strategy? This would suit my strategy fine, with some adjustments maybe. Adjustments? Yes. I'll need Eugene to stack two specific cards in order to apply enough pressure during the game. Your strategy relies too heavily on chance. You really believe a suitable card will present itself at the top or bottom of the deck after cutting? Well, I said I would. That will look staged. Eugene, when the time comes, make sure to offer the cut to me. Comte, your strategy is fine as a backup if McGregor becomes suspicious. But we'll need something more sophisticated for the actual meat of the game. Allow me to teach you the Urdenay's special. First, I'll give you one of my codes, then you'll hunt for the cards. Right, steal a card with the sticky hand. Before finding the other requested card amongst the played cards on the table. Make sure it's the first card you collect in your harvest. Place it on top of the deck with the other stolen card. Now I'll need to think of a code. Hmm. Allow me. Ernaze may be helping you now. We give it time and you'll see his feeble moral standards and how red his hands are. So give him a low red card? But how does that help the game? Am I able to interpret that? Yeah. What are you waiting for? So steal this. I mean, I guess it's just an example. This one I'm actually a little confused by. This feels like any card. I'm gonna try any card. Yeah, because they only did one callout. Interesting, they didn't like pick an example with multiple callouts. Anyway, good work, Eugene. Practicing is kind of useless because the only part I'm confused about isn't really practiced. Just what I like to see. So I have the two requested cards at the top of the deck. Now it's time to assign them to your target. We'll do the Urdenay's Shuffle. While this technique might appear daunting at first, you'll soon come to appreciate how flexible and powerful it is. And just like me. Look at the target's cards on the top of the deck. First off, I need to shuffle once while in jogging in the top card at the same time. So LT is key here. Shuffle plus in jog. Ah, so I make an L. And I did it. So we set aside two cards for me, your target. Now it's time to sort out the other players. Go ahead and drop two cards per additional player. So just drop six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we each have two cards prepared for them. Out jog the next card. Out jog? The comp did not teach you anything? Excuse me? I taught him what he needed to know. And yet, out jogging is just like in jogging, but the card pokes away from you instead of in and towards you. Hand me cards and I'll show you what I mean. Here, see the out jog card and in jog card on either side of your stack. Your thumb can easily create a gap between the in jog card when you're squeezing the deck. And you'll naturally grab everything up to the out jog card too. This creates a break below it. You can use these gaps to restore the stack on your the next pass through the deck. Trust you understood that. Understood, I would like to practice it. Clearly I need to be like more deliberate or something. Cool. Dude, what if the game does the thing where it doesn't read my inputs right away? And then it only reads, well, hopefully there'll be a reset button. As long as there's a reset button, I'm happy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that was four. Okay, great. There's only a certain speed I can go at. And now out jog by dragging this way, and they'll be easy to find. Shuffle down the rest. And then drop all the cards up to the first gap. Deal with the stack I'm repairing. Go ahead, drop them all at once. 
Now the two cards are at the bottom of the stack, but they need to be distributed amongst the opponent's cards. To distribute the planned cards in the stack, you'll need to drop one individual card for everyone other than your target. So drop three. Next card should be for you. But the ones you prepared are on either side of the next break. Drop everything up to the break. That should be my card with a card for each opponent above it. Great. Now there are two cards prepared for each of my opponents, but there's only one for me currently, and I drop it. Tired yet? Only a couple more steps left, I promise. Offset the stack so the requested cards are dealt to me. Yeah, so I just need to drop three cards. Boom, boom, boom. All right, they're both on track to end up in his hand. And then in jog the next card, of course, and bring it all down. Good God. Well, that's a fun one. I'm going to practice the crap out of that. But it's not over yet. I was getting to that. You'll finish by reversing the opponent's cut. Prove you can do that for me now. So this... Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I missed it. You hate to see it? I was close. Uh, we'll blame that on fatigue from the previous technique. I shouldn't be too greedy and go for perfects, but perfects reduce suspicion, so... Let's move on. I want to see how you fare when we put this all together. We'll keep the same clue from before to make it easy. But that's the thing I need to practice! How can you not test me on the clue part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this! Uh, how am I supposed to decipher it's two red cards from the orange words? I could look at the non-orange words and be like, well, I guess it says hands. But for me, the orange wor words alone, how are you supposed to know if it's one red card or two red card? Either way, two row low red since I happen to know. And then just give them a low red. I mean, this one's fine. Should have been faster. Huh, why, uh... I think they need to erase those. All right, this is really hard. So I remember I needed to bring it down and in jog in one motion, and then drop six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then out jog, and then shuffle. Should keep shuffling, I think. So now I drop three cards. Shuffle it down drop his card and then offset it by three in jog and then shuffle wow and then i need to undo the cut so let's see it bring it on perfect perfect on time i'll take it well that was pretty good but it's very hard especially if the seating positions are different i must say i'm impressed I'm not. The lad's talented. Always has been. <sighs> I also love how I've definitely missed the trick somewhere. The Roman numerals have always been one more than the uh, normal numbers. Would I like to practice some more? Yes. But uh, I'll do it off camera because it's getting long already. I think I'm ready. Fine. It's probably best not to overdo it. Though judging by your pallid complexion, we may be too late. We can't stop yet. And why is that? You said the lad might need to stack cards for two different targets. You haven't taught us how. And I never will! Eugene is a natural, always improvising to get the two of you out of trouble. Holy fuck. This is insane. Have faith in him. I don't have faith in him. And I'm him. Very well, I trust you, lad. So I've been practicing. I gotta get one card to each of them, and I figured out how to do it. I mean, you start with the good old L piece, and then you drop six cards like usual. I mean, it still kind of starts the same. It'll just diverge later. And then you out jog. Keep shuffling, keep shuffling. So it's all together. You bring it down again. But before, I would drop three cards because I needed to get them to match up to each other. But here, how do I represent this? Let's pretend the nine was here. Dropping three cards would get a card from here to here to here to here. That's three moves. But you may have noticed one move gets one to here. That's not a great explanation, but that's kind of how I remember it. So what I do, I drop one card and then drop them all. And then look at this. They're separated by one, shuffle it over one, and they're in the right position. In jog and shuffle it all. 
and I think I've got it. This is pretty adaptable, I think. Just tap twice if they're directly next to each other. Yeah, tapping once, tapping twice, or tapping three times, just depending on the spacing. Am I ready to move on? I guess so. I have plenty of techniques to keep you occupied tomorrow, Eugene. And, providing you stick to my plan, there will be lots of drama to witness too. Try to get some less rest, lad, if you can amongst all this debris. Well, this is nerve-wracking. It definitely is boss fight territory, huh? Later that day... You! What new mystification is this? You were dead. You missed. Now I'll hit him with the I cheated death. Guards, arrest these men. William, what is happening? Your Majesty, I am the Comte de Saint Germain. Of course, what a pleasure to see you again. I'll uh, get out of your Majesty's presence. My King, and you are, Madame? Huh. Baroness de Beauregard, Your Majesty. But, and this is the Comte's son, young Eugene. Welcome, young man. I assume you will join our game with pleasure. Brilliant. I've looked forward to it all day. Let's take our seats. Hmm. But, your majesty, these men. These men are my guests. Stop pouting like an old duck and join us. That's an order. At right, four-person game. What an exciting game, your majesty. One for the history books. The Sovereign of France fighting against the Red Lion, the Alchemist, and the Young Cub. So Red Lion is definitely McGregor. Young Cub is me and Alchemist, we know who it is. And obviously we know who the Sovereign of France is. Thank you for that. The Red Lion, who is that? What, McGregor didn't tell you? It's nothing, I pray tell, madame. During the unrest in Scotland, the English had an unusual asset in the person of William McGregor, also called the Red Lion. A strong Scottish officer wearing the red coat of the English forces. Alright, this sounds like a singular high red card. For the love of God, if this game wants me to give him two high, high red cards, I'm giving it a 0 out of 10. He fought against his own kin. Some say he killed his own uncle with his bare hands. It's not true. Enough. William, sit down. <laughs> That's a lot of riches. Uh, we could be here for a while. How much does this suspicion raise? Eh, it's actually too much for me, especially for a measly 10. Well, here we go. What could possibly go wrong? All right, so give him a high red card. Don't miss. Didn't miss. And then I'm going to give him another high red card. I guess. I guess what's nice about this is I can always just do two of the call to be safe. So now this is the hard part. Here we go. Give them both to this- No! Thank God for the reset button. One, two, three, four, five, six. Out jog. Shuffle a bit. And then you drop three. Shuffle it down. Drop, and then drop three again to get him to McGregor. In jog. Keep the shuffling going, and nailed it my first time with, I think, not that much suspicion. And if I could earn it back, that would just be perfect. Ooh, okay, earned it back a little bit. I'm gonna keep doing that. I think I can nail those perfects. William, it seems the Red Lion just killed his own king. Your Majesty, I wouldn't. What does his head do? What? <laughs> you see in his head? <laughs> Look at this shit! What is your deal? What the f- <laughs> Oh my god, no wonder he's king. No one else has neck game that good. Well done, Eugene. You couldn't take on the red line and his treacherous red cards, but you played very well. Indeed, Comte. Your protege is a very quiet yet brilliant player. Eugene is mute, your majesty. He has no tongue. No... No tongue. Majesty, don't listen to- Enough! I- could it be you? Only you, the king of kings, could answer that question, your majesty. What, so give the king a king? I, we shall play. Up to 200. If I can give him a king, I will. And I can. So I will. 
All right, I'll give him another king. How cute is that? Honestly, adorable in its own way. Here's the king. So I assume I'm giving them both to him. And yeah, it's in a slightly different position. So he drops six. Four, five, six. Out jog. Shuffle it down. And then you shuffle again. And you drop one, two, three. And then drop them together. And then just make sure they end up exactly where I need them to be. And look at that. A banger shuffle. And let's undo some, some suspicion here. Whoo! That last perfect was scary. But it's done. Oh, I'm winning him the money. I guess I'd missed that the first time. That night 20 years ago, I lost Sophie. I lost everything I loved. I never thought I would see my son again. But are you my son, Eugene? Could it really be you? I mean, we could just go with this lie. Even though I'm not blood, it's not like they got freaking DNA tests in this time and age. This is a trap, my king. Don't listen to these people. They're just cheats. Look at young Eugene and tell me that's the face of a cheat. He merely blushes in the presence of high nobility. High red cards. Do I think hearts? I, I want to say just red, but I'm going to try hearts if I can. High hearts or at least high red cards. This is absurd. To appease Mr. McGregor, let me shuffle. Oh god, this he's, we're gonna do his trick. Oh, it feels like forever since I practice it. Then we will ask the Baroness to cut before letting Eugene deal the cards. How exciting, I've never cut a deck before. I'm just frantically trying to think of exactly how it went. I mean, that's just where I deal from different parts of the deck. Yeah, but who do I exactly want to give the high cards to now? Let's see how this goes. Up to 400. Or maybe to the king? I stole the jack. That was a heart, right? Okay, now I've got to think about this. I don't actually know who I want to have the high hand. I mean, since we've been giving our money to the king, we might as well continue down that path. So why don't I? Oh, but... Mm, but the call was for me to get it, so I think I should be the one to get it. I think I'm gonna go down that line. So we'll hit him with a cool second deal, second deal, drop it to me, and then just deal, deal, and then from the bottom of the deck. Oh! We're dealing more than two cards. That caught me the hell off guard. That really caught me off guard. We won. A masterful victory. So, William, did you see any foolery? I no, sir, but that doesn't mean he didn't cheat. Stop behaving like a popinjay and sit down this instant. Dude, I will never get over his neck swivel. That's so good. Now, dear William, are you done insulting us with your blunt antics and feeble accusations? I am I, Comte? How would I know? I'm not the one wiggling an arrogant tongue in an empty head. The Comte de Saint Germain is a scoundrel trying to trick you, my king. Messieurs, voyons, messieurs, me please, the violence of these words. I don't know what to think. You should play one last round. Let's see if our dear alchemist wit is truly as sharp as an ace of spade. Well, there's only one of those. He will cheat again. Dear McGregor, you win just if you already picked the lowest card in the game. So ace of spade to this fool. Low card to McGregor. Ace of spade or low card. Okay, no ace of spades, so I guess it's just the low card, and look for the ace of spades. Oh, I almost clicked that early. Oh, there you are. There we are, okay. So ace to Comte, two to McGregor, and we'll figure out how much I need to drop this. All right, so they're two apart, just like I practiced, good. So drop six, three, four, Five, six, out jog, shuffle it, shuffle again, one, bring them all down, boom, looking good, looking real good, and then of course I'm going to undo that cut, any day of the week, ooh, I almost missed that last one, 
Not that suspicious. I mean, that has to be the boss, right? Damn, I'm rich. McGregor, your game is so poor, so narrow. It's like watching a rat trying very hard to play like a cat. Comp day, you are a cheat and a con man. And you are a ghoul, a monster unmoved by the depth of his own corruption. A disease indifferent to the smell of the corpses it leaves behind. Toll. I protect the monarchy. When vultures like you, this mute, or Sophie threaten the throne, I must crush them. Sophie threatened the throne? I poison them, I hang them, I dispel them. I mean, I get it, you're mad, but this mad? Like, confessing to crimes mad? Hmm. Both of you will die. Guards. King's gonna be like, you're a weird ass. Arrest this man. Thank you, your majesty. His death will be arrest McGregor. It's just cards, bro. You co confess to crimes over cards. Th they're, they're cards. And you confess to crimes. Are we gonna keep playing? That'd be kind of funny. Your Majesty. No, you will not say another word. But neither will you, Baroness. Nah, solidarity with the mute. Or should I say, Erdnays. You can remove the wig. I am still no gentleman, Your Grace. Indeed, you've always been a thief of dubious gender. But at least I know now that you're not to blame for Sophie's death. That said, the cruelty of McGregor's revelation doesn't shed much light on your own game. What was the plan if McGregor doesn't commit confess to that crime he does 20 years ago? What then? Follow me, Eugene. I want to talk to you in private. You two are forbidden to leave. Wait here, we have one last game to play. I wanted to ask you a single question. I don't trust the others, but I see a glimmer of honor in you. So think carefully before answering this question. Are you my son? This actually feels like a choice that may have consequences. I really think saying yes is the interesting answer here. I'm really curious to see if he'll buy it. Why, yes, I am. I don't know if I should trust you. Do you have questions of your own about anyone? I'm listening. So let's start with McGregor. I wonder whose orders McGregor was following when he murdered Sophie. Oh, so he doesn't know either. I'm afraid it might be a cabal organized by my brother. He always saw Sophie as a threat. Anything else? Erdnays. He evaded McGregor for 20 years. I lost so much that night. I was so blinded by rage, I didn't see I was being played. I still don't trust Erdnays, though. Anything else? Comte. I have multiple reports on him. They are worrying. I don't think you should keep his company. Yeah, I don't really like him after the whole working with McGregor thing. It just seems stupid. Like, he really dicked himself out of a better life. Anything else? Yeah, myself. You. I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah. No more questions. Fine. Bring them both in. Listen, son. For what it's worth, I am sorry. I'm as angry as you. We've been played for fools all along. Look at that smug face on our dear Baroness. You do know that the final act was not part of my plan? I'm on your side. So why don't you tell me what you just spoke with the king about? He seems to trust you. You can take advantage of that. Last game? What bothers you? Maybe Louis bothered me? The king is not cut out for the throne. McGregor was doing the nobility's dirty work right under his nose. Okay. Your mentor will not hesitate to betray you again if it's in his own interest. But you've gained a certain expertise. I'm sure you can handle him now. Anything else? You have too many fathers, hmm? <laughs> uh, although I'm more of a mother to you. Follow me. Not moving a muscle until he leaves too. He's not to be trusted. All right, well, get your ass over here. I, I wouldn't believe a word that Erdne says. Oh, I could ask him about last game. Louis will die by the hands of the people. He is a weak king. An old spider resting on a crumbling web of aristocracy and ancient privilege. Thanks to people like you, the revolution will wash him away. Anything else? Erdnays. I'm still puzzled. I'm also jealous. He pulled off quite the con. I met the fake Baroness eight years ago and Irenio 12 years ago. Don't trust the man. He will betray you in the end. Anything else? I will never forgive myself for letting you down. Hmm. There is such a thing as honor among thieves. McGregor didn't follow the rules. Follow me. 
Why was the king want from us? Before we go, allow me to hand you an olive branch. I want to show you a strategy that will grant you full agency in this next game. Oh god, we actually are playing another game. Begin with bottom drag. For your strategy is cru crucial, you find four aces. Anything lower will be too weak. Oh god, I haven't done this in forever. Move the aces to the bottom of the deck. Let's uh, practice this, yes. Because it's been a bit. Uh, I forget. D does it pause on aces? It does. Oh, uh, why is that so fast? Good God. Alright, well, that's the one. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm pretty bad at that. Good job. Let's just move on. I'm not gonna get much better in time. False riffle shuffle. Oh no. Take care not to disturb the stack you created in the previous step. Oh no. They had to bring this one back. Yeah, I'm practicing it. Wait, what? Oh, they're still on the bottom, so it's easy. I just have to wait. Now all that's left is for us to go over that progression again and... Ah, the king wishes to talk to you. Ah, listen son, before I go in, a uh, final word. I have a feeling I will not leave Versailles a free man. But if you're given the chance to escape, I beg you, take it. Go back to Pau, live a simple life. I care about you. How convenient. Leaving you with an unfinished strategy. At best, your mentor is incompetent. At worst... Well, wouldn't be the first time he betrayed you, would it? It's just as well your old friend Erdnaz is here to help you. Don't worry, I ran out of plans and devious schemes. Besides, the last part of our game is yours to decide, based on what he taught you already. Use this progression to steal my stack from the bottom of the deck before sneaking it back after the cut. And then, yeah, let's practice this. So it's from the bottom, I'm steal this. So hopefully that gets the whole stack. And it still is where it is. Nicely done. Now, with your stack safely back on the bottom of the deck, it's time to use the shark deal technique. Draw from your stack at the bottom when dealing to your target. Oh, so this is gonna be like a big decision. You deal the aces to somebody. Yeah, four aces will have them win. In short, you have the power to decide who wins the game. Yeah, that's cool and all. Um, but this is a game of cards, which should have no real bearings on the real world. Maybe you have some bearings on money. Yeah, no doubt the comp that kept you on such a short reign, you never even considered wielding such control. Why don't you even go before we join the king? Sure. How about I deal myself? What if, what if I just deal nobody the ace? <laughs> what if it's just a fair game? I guess there's like a hidden fifth option. I'm gonna be honest, that option probably sucks. Maybe finally we'll have a story beat that actually, um, or like a decision that actually matters to the story. So I'm gonna be honest, they haven't- I guess they'll have to explain how this will actually- or what I should expect from the winner of the game. Beware of the quiet ones indeed. I think I've got it. I think I've helped you enough. I'll be sincere. Thanks. Confident. Are you done making faces? I'm satisfied this time. I wonder what direction they're gonna take this. Hmm. You can call me your majesty. The king requests both of your company. I think I'm gonna deal myself the aces, but I don't really know the actual stakes. Now oh, look at this, I've learned every trick but one. I wonder which one I actually missed. We will find a way out of this. Give me the victory in this last round and I will do the rest. Hmm, I don't feel like that's necessary, but I know why you would want to win, or I know that you would want to win. I'm gonna be honest, Unless if they start doing some more talking, the consequences of who win this game are completely unapparent. So you, you better start talking. Explain yourselves. Frankly, I don't know what to do with you. I could easily send you to Guiana in chains or give you lands and a title. Your grace. I didn't finish. Your majesty. Listen, I'm sure each of you is eager to plead his cause. Eugene, please take the deck. Let's play one last round. Only the winner will be able to grace me with his advice on what I do next. 
Well, then why don't I give myself the win? Because it's not like winning locks me into an ending. Winning just means that I get to choose the ending after I win. So clearly, I should grace him. All right, look for the damn aces. What happens if he just gets too suspicious? <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Uh, it feels pretty unlikely though. Even with my leisurely pace, it is not growing in suspicion much. And there we go. All right, the riffle shuffle, hopefully don't mess up. Just gotta be patient is all. So wait, go, go, go. Eh, good enough. So you take it. Take it. Absolutely nailed it. And of course I'm going to deal it to myself at this point. Boom. 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 Almost messed that one up. Boom. My ace. I like that there's five cards in case I accidentally misclick. I can save myself with an ace. Now, let's be real, three aces is definitely enough to win a game. I kind of would want to go back to this point in time and try all the different combinations, but something tells me it won't be easy to do that. Eugene, you have so many aces in your hand. I count. Five! <laughs> what? How careless of you? Is there no one I can trust? Well, that's funny. Okay, well, that's a pretty bad ending. No, your majesty, it's me. I rigged the game, Eugene is not to blame. Fine with me, I don't trust you either. You two, I want you out of Versailles right away. I guess I wasn't paying attention to the suits. Was there a double up in suits? I just didn't notice. It was stupid of you. I couldn't let you do that. I guess I'll ask how. Man, doesn't reveal his tricks. Yeah, definitely feels hokey, not gonna lie. Okay, so Comte was executed. Ernest was never seen again. Probably placed McGregor in the King's Shadow. I left for Powell and took over Miss Porterhouse's tavern. And here I am writing these lines. It's the 12th of August and the old world is over. It might have been preventable. I... Hmm. Okay. And now I'm just running the tavern. Becoming a nice, humble businessman. I'm just kind of skipping through this. Parliament sent me here to tell you that you're a patriot. It's not a word I use lightly. Funds you gave to our Cascrop friends helped the revolution immensely. Let's toast. So a victory as an honest man. Oh, <laughs> uh, two spades. I actually have no idea what's going on now. This is like a mirror to the very beginning of the game, except there's no text. But how? What is wrong with you? Interesting. That's the end of the game. I, uh, have some grievances, but you know, all in all, it was fun. The only thing that would uh, save this would be the ability to, like, fast transport to the end of the game and try to get the different endings just to see what they are. Because it seems like those are the only actual decision, that that's literally the only decision that has an impact on the story as far as I can tell. I'll tell you what, though, it definitely lost its immersion near the end. What's this? Uh, that's just a new game plus. Yeah, get me the hell out of here. Yeah, like, I think after starting at the duel with McGregor, I think just the immersion was gone. Just something about the story just fell off. Like, they were trying to push it forward, but the things weren't falling into place. Like, for what it was worth, it was entertaining. I'll probably talk more about it in the pinned comment like I do at the end of every game. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching, for sure. Uh, there's no easy way to get the other endings, so I guess I'm going to look them up on in my own time. I'll see you guys all in the next series, whatever it may be. And with that, have a wonderful day. 
and Corsica.